Agroecological techniques open up possibilities for soil conservation. Agroecology can be seen as a scientific field, a social movement, or a set of farming practices. Among other techniques, agroecology includes agroforestry, organic farming, composting, green fertilizers, and also what we're particularly interested in here, direct seeding, mulch-based conservation agriculture, or DMC. More generally, the term conservation agriculture is used as such systems help conserve soils. DMC systems model themselves on nature. Forest litter primarily comprises leaves and branches. It fosters biological activity in the soil. It gradually breaks down into mineral elements and humus. Trees take up and recycle those elements through their roots. DMC systems attempt to reproduce this way of functioning based on three principles. The soil is not tilled. It is permanently covered. Crop rotation and intercropping are practiced. DMC systems rely on the production of large amounts of biomass in plots. In addition to conserving soil organic matter and thus carbon, biomass regulates its temperature and humidity. It protects against erosion, feeds microorganisms and can also feed animals. The biomass used in direct seeding comprises live plants or rotting crop residues. The crop is sown directly through the straw. If needs be, farmers dry the plant cover, either mechanically or chemically. DMC systems were inspired by practices among farmers in the USA and Brazil and have gradually been adapted to humid tropical zones. Nowadays, they are primarily being developed in countries with large-scale mechanised agriculture. On small farms, use of these new techniques remains limited. Changing practices is a risky business for smallholders. Family farms are no less productive than large plantations, but they have limited market access and it is these smallholders who most need to change. CIRAD and the Agence Française de Développement are supporting adaptation of agroecological projects in many countries. On passe une conversion de une conversion d'un système de référence en général basé sur le travail du sol à des systèmes de à des systèmes de semis direct. D'abord Là, quand on les introduit, ces systèmes de semis direct, les, les gens qui les introduisent, euh, c'est une innovation qui est en construction. Donc le, le système technique est, pas, est loin d'être parfait. Ensuite, je veux dire, la, la, la performance et le rendu et l'impact de l'agriculture de conservation sur les performances du, du milieu, sur l'agroécosystème, elles se, elles se construisent progressivement. C'est-à-dire on, on restaure souvent, on a à restaurer des situations qui sont souvent dégradées. Ça, ça ne se fait pas, ça se fait pas en, en un an. Il y a aussi une transition dans la, dans la perception et la compréhension des, des choses par les agriculteurs qui la pratiquent. C'est-à-dire qu'au début, euh, début, quand bien même on a des parcelles de démonstration qui sont installées dans les villages, etc., il y a, il y a un hiatus hein, entre, entre le, ce que, ce que l'on voit et ce que l'on comprend, et ensuite ce que l'on s'approprie en, en le faisant avec les techniques. Donc ça aussi, c'est une, une transition. The transition has indeed begun. Extension strategies depend on national contexts. We're going to focus on the means chosen to implement this transition in three quite different contexts, Madagascar, Cameroon and Cambodia.